Timothy Nash, he killed Anthony Norman, my daughter's father. He left him in cold blood. Both murders happened last year, just three months apart. The victims were targeted and the details disturbing. Multiple gunshots that each of these victims sustained was clearly an execution. Their bodies were mutilated with gunshots. Unimaginable pain for two families who want the answer they may never get. Why? Our life is different. It will never be the same. The judge sent a message by running the sentences consecutively. Blackwell is just 22 years old. His first chance of parole will be in 68 years when he is 90. And for the families, even that is too soon. And justice will not be served if he ever gets out again. In Cleveland, Katie Tursek, 19 years. That guy's 22? Some people, yeah, some white people will come save him one day. Some white liberals may come save him. Yeah, it ain't no, it wasn't no DNA evidence or no shit like that. Or some new technology come out in 30 years. It yeah, wasn't none of that. Exactly. You know? That nigga look, like, he's 35, bro. It's time. It's time. It's white liberals got plenty of time to cook up something, something. Right now, Stark County Sheriff's deputies are searching for a man in connection with the shooting death of his seven year old son. Yeah, our Annabelle Childers is live at the King's Inn in Canton with the latest on this case. Annabelle, what are you learning right now? Yeah, this is definitely a heartbreaking situation, and it's one that the Stark County Sheriff's Office says has been hard on those deputies that first responded to the motel this morning. They found that seven year old boy dead inside, and now they're working to arrest his father, 37 year old William Dolch. He yeah, is wanted, of, wanted on a charge of having weapons under disability. And 911 calls do give us a little himself. bit of insight into the scene that this, this white dude will kill himself. Kill himself or you know the suicide by cop thing. Yeah. He's not gonna he's not going to get taken in uh these first responders walked into. Uh, I, I don't know what happened. Uh there is my son my son in law has a gunshot wound. This is the call that came from a Knights End motel room to a Stark County nine one one operator at one o'clock Friday morning. I was just sitting here, we were folding a blanket, and then he was standing and getting ready to brush his teeth for the night. I just need, I don't know what happened. I don't know where it came from or anything. Between short bursts of panic and yelling her son's name, a mom says her son is shot in the middle of his back. I have a lot of people coming. Over the next six minutes, the 911 operator asks questions and tries to offer help. What do I do? Okay, okay. Hey, hold on. Where is it at? In his back, in his back. And, 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 Kamari, is he Kamari, alert and talking to you? Kamari on. No. He's, 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 have shot What do I do? Hold I'm holding pressure just, on the back. Hold, yeah, hold pressure on it. Just hold on one second. When those she sounds like she's acting. Arrived, the Stark County Sheriff's Office says Ooh. they transported the boy to a local hospital, but he died from his injuries. In the 911. She's not pretty calm for a woman whose kid was shot. Mom, who is in the room? She says multiple times that she. Yeah, she was hella calm, hella measured for somebody. Yeah, that shit was crazy. She she wasn't like you would think like just out of like seeing that seeing your kid shot right bleeding out, you think you would just be screaming or hysterical or something. Whew. I would feel like my parents didn't love oh, me. They weren't expecting another busy exactly get shot. Right, oh, and you know, you really didn't give. A f I thought it was a right. mistake. It, it literally sounded like she didn't give a fuck. And with that for him this weekend, police are expecting another busy weekend in another part of the city, Fells Point. Fox 25 Jeff Abel joins us live from Fells Point with growing concerns over how police are addressing the crowds. Jeff. Well, as you can see here in Fells Point, they've already begun yeah. closing many of the streets leading into Fells Point here tonight and saturating the area with officers as they struggle to get ahead of some of the problems here. But tonight, some experts tell us the solution could be a lot closer than they think. As the summer crowd grows in Fells Point, the summer problems grow too. We've got teens. Uh, you got see that cut? Oh, that was very oh, seen guns and guns have been. Some nigga with skinnies on and some white Air Forces. Oh, shit. But you, did you hear what they was doing? They were saying when they cut to that boy? Yeah. That shit racist. I'm telling you.
lights on. And if lights don't work, Smith says pumping a dose of adverse music in the air. Just oh, wow. The reason that these young people are uh, coming to this area is because they apparently need a place to party. So you want to make it not a fun place to party. Rank and file police officers. <laughs> Classical music. Yo, that works, yo. You know that, right? Yeah, it does. We, we, yeah, it worked yeah. at a, was that a CVS or Walgreens? I forgot where that, where that place was. Right there yeah, on it, it in Chicago work. on 71st and Jeffrey, in one of the hottest areas. They play mm-hmm. nothing but like fucking uh, music like that. Like the little, uh, what they call that shit? Um, Castle. Like orchestra music and so shit. So could you de-escalate? Could, could you de-escalate a robbery with some classical music? If, no, you know. no, no. The whole thing with the classical music is for they won't loiter. They don't they yeah. want to stand there and be there all fucking night just drinking or selling drugs. They'll pick a new place because they like this shit is annoying as fuck. It's repellent. It's like a repellent That's for weaponizing. Us. We- racially weaponizing classical music. Yeah, but here's the thing: the 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 frequency. Like when blacks make music, they make it to their frequency. You know, um, the jungle music, the hip hop, the drill. That's made <laughs> with our frequency that we walk with, the frequency that our body a more bass, with. a little more bottom well, end. Is- classical music vib- is, is, is it, it, it vibrates on a different frequency. And um, it, it's almost, I can see it almost being like, um, you know, those dog whistles, you know what I'm saying? Right, like um, right. that, or like uh, whatever that thing, that noise they do to repel animals or whatever, it could be like that. Because our frequency, man, our frequency is way different than the frequency of the people who invented, who came up with classical music. Even when blacks tried to do classical music, they couldn't do it, so they had to create jazz because there's too much structure in classical music. Blacks can only do it um, improv or, you know what I'm saying, or, or you know what I'm saying, we can't do classical music, just read the sheet music and play it the same way every time. We have right. to, like, do it improvisational, so we made jazz, which is really just freestyle classical music. So it's like that classical music vibrates on a different frequency than we do, than we do. So yeah, I'm sure that it actually like irritates us, especially the those of us with low IQs. I I, I look at um I look at them playing this classical music, like uh, remember Spider Man when they when he got uh taken over by Venom, and then like the way to get the the fucking the suit to like run get off of him was he had to get uh he had to be near a bell and then they'll just get just bang it real loud and then that frequency would just like scare the the fucking mm. venom uh suit off of him and shit. I've I've viewed mm. classical like that for sons like you play and then the sons just cover their ears and try to escape to the to the nearest uh hip hop uh beat they yeah. can find. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, those sons ain't they got you know, and like you said, I, their, their frequency is not in tune with classical music. Yeah, our frequency is our frequency is heavy bass lines, you know, beats, treble, bass, boom, boom, bap. We we don't we we. Yeah, that's that's definitely my bass line. It has a narrower problem. emotional range, is what I think you're trying to say. Yeah, we're primal. We're more more primal, more uh, base, more base, uh, B-A-S-E. Base to party. Rank and file police officers will not engage with juveniles. Business owners have long complained that officers are reluctant to enforce the law. The police union complains that city leaders and city policies have handcuffed officers from doing their jobs. Smith says the outcome will be predictable. Everybody wants the police to do something, but if you're in a political atmosphere and if you have a mayor and a city council who don't want the children to face any consequences, then you have to live with the fact that these young people, likely many of them street gang members, are going to take over your local park and your historic area. 
Well, back she doesn't here have live, kids. ultimately, Smith predicts it could take a tragedy before any real change takes place. We are live in Fells tonight, Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel. Hmm. Wow. The level of acceptance of crime that they want us to have now. You have to have that if you have sons around, bro. It's just, exactly. If you don't accept crime, then you're you're tacitly tacitly uh, advocating for uh, mass incarceration. And or just shocking yourself, just setting yourself to be shocked over and 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 over again. But I'm not, I'm not tacitly asking for it. I'm two separate I'm shootings in the district. Mm. Well, I mean, <laughs> there's that. Two separate shootings in the district, leaving young men dead, both of them just 21 years old. Marcellus Jackson shot in the Deanwood neighborhood while he was visiting family. Dominique Moody spoke with his mom this evening. It's this one. My youngest friend. Denise Wilson is in disbelief. Her youngest son, 21-year-old Marcellus Jackson, was shot and killed while visiting family and friends in D.C.'s Deanwood neighborhood early this morning. Oh my God, it's Sale, it's your son, it's your son. I'm like, what? So I'm I'm getting up and I'm like, no, nah, they didn't say that because it's like a dream in your head. He over there minding his business, boom, he gone. That's crazy, that's crazy. This morning, investigators surrounded the Northeast neighborhood trying to find out what led to the shooting. What person would take my baby and for what? No, people don't think about these are somebody's children, somebody's brothers, somebody's cousins. Wilson says that she and her family moved away from that northeast neighborhood where her son was shot and killed at last night. She says that her house was shot several times in previous years. Wilson says her son graduated high school. So her son house was shot up several times in previous years, but then she doesn't understand. But she, the way she acted like was as if she had never heard of like Blackistan and then you come to find out that her house had been shot up previous times. Bro, what the fuck was but, that? Like she can't her, be serious. Look at him. He's throwing up the wires and shit in pictures. And this picture is super old and he was still game banging back in the day. Am I am I missing the timeline? Did her son die the night before she did this interview? Yeah. First look off, at, her I, son again I cannot her. believe the sort of calm uh, you cannot imagine that she's talking about a dead son. You, th you think she's talking about a purse she left at the, the right. grocery store. But <laughs> that, that and check this out. How old do you think this picture is right here? How old do you think he is? Right? Five years. Maybe so 13. he's 16 probably in this, right? 16, 15. 21. He's 21 years old. So he but I'm talking about in this picture. You think I'm thinking he yeah. like 16 in this picture. Right, right. What? That's five fucking years or whatever it is. That mean in five years they probably couldn't find a better picture of him without holding a gun at this point because this is the best picture that they got. And in this exactly. picture, he's throwing gang signs up. Yeah, I don't know about gang signs in DC, but that's like a hood sign, maybe. Hood. Yeah, it's the wise. That's what they call it. The wise. Yeah. It's just saying they throwing up the wise, whatever the fuck. It's still some hood shit. It's hood culture. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely neighborhood trying to find out what led to the shooting what person would take my baby and for what no people don't think about these are somebody's children somebody's brothers somebody's cousins wilson says that she and her family moved away from that northeast neighborhood where her son was shot and killed at last night she says that her house was shot several times in he made her life wilson says her son graduated high school in 2021 and was working to find a more permanent job. In 2007, she says her son was one of dozens of victims injured during the annual Unifest Fair in Anacostia. Oh my God. And Tanya Bryant plowed into a crowd of people. Hard to take it. Yeah, I remember that day. I remember when that happened. Um, Unifest, like a, it's like a, just a regular black um, block party, but for a neighborhood, like a, a community festival and shit what that, is that that go-go shit well they have go-go acts there but it's just like it's just like southeast it was like like they have georgia avenue day uptown this is like southeast it's just like a festival for people to come together 
and you got some vendors out there, but mostly people just standing on the street and just, um, you know, watching like, you know, shit go by. This black woman um, plowed into the crowd, killed a bunch of people. In 2007, she says her son was one of dozens of victims injured during the annual Unifest Fair in Anacostia when Tanya Bryant plowed into a crowd of people. Hard to take in. My eyes pussy, my head hurting. All I've been doing is crying. Cause I'm like, this is my, this is my baby. Investigators say anyone with information about Thursday morning's fatal shooting is asked to contact DC police. As for Wilson, she says the crime across the area needs to be addressed. It's, it's appalling. I just don't want to be here no more. When am I going to do anything about that? She doesn't want to talk to any parents. We're not going to do anything. We need to start helping these parents. Start listening to the parents to start bringing up better solutions. In the district, Dominique Moody. Man, there are no solutions. We got to help these parents. There are no solutions, ma'am. Um... Oh, yeah, let me do this story about Disney, man. Let me do this Disney story before I forget. Um, she asked, who you would do this? Take... Yeah. She asked, who would do this? And all I'm thinking about, the same people that shot up your house multiple times would do this. Exactly. Exactly. They would, those people, uh, ma'am, the people that have shot up your house, the people, the people that, like, literally, he if he was hanging around Dean Wood, like Dean Wood is not like Mayberry, man. Dean Wood is 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 a place where, yeah, it's a lot going on over there, man. And every, every dude around there think they hard. Every one of them. So it's like how really he was around there. Yeah. Go ahead. Is is there relief in her? It's over now? This guy that's just been having Ooh. guns. You know, I, I don't see grief there. I don't see it, man. Nah, I At don't all? see grief either. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't see grief either. I saw he's made I her saw, life hell. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure she's happy. Like, yeah, she's definitely relieved at like about him not like being a, a bother, a burden in her life. It's gonna be a lot less bullets coming through her windows now with him gone. Salute the regular Degla. Something wrong with the Sun Man. My facts. Um, I see yeah. anger, man. You know, I see anger because she won't be able to get any more food stamps, less food oh, stamps, shoot. less crab legs. Or maybe that's just me. I don't know. Let me. Let me. Let me nah, he was that. over. He was over the food stamp age, man. She wasn't getting it for him. Yeah. Um. I. You know, another thing too, like these women, like so much crime. There's so, there's so much crime. Then you mix that with the fact that. They don't really like sisters. Don't really have like empathy and that um that that um like sisters don't have that that same thing like a white girl might have like a white girl or or a Hispanic girl. We're all different, right? All the root groups are different. Sisters.